this is an ultrasound study of uh, 42 years old and male and uh, intentionally showing you the suprene first now this is the suprene this is the left hemidiaphragm suprene is measuring 15 centimeters normal should not exceed more than 12 so the suprene is alive they are focalians this is one hyperpoic focalian uh, within the substance of the parenchyma of the suprene this is the blood vessel now this is another focalian uh, this focalian hypopoic measures approximately 9.6 millimeters and this one that is uh, adjacent to the uh, left hemidiaphragm it measures approximately 6.3 into 5.1 centimeters now this is the kidney the left kidney is normal there is uh, nothing to be explained in this patient is in left lateral uh, right lateral decubitus posture now this is the saplenic vein this is the splenic vein either region now now let's concentrate on the focal region that we are seeing uh, in the lower region of the lower pole or lower region of the supreme. This you see is a uh, poorly demarcated and uh, is hypochoic with internal streaks of uh, ecogenic film material. So it's a <coughs> it's a cyst with internal ecogenic material, linear and streak shaped. This this is the layer. From other angle, if you just see this, this is the focal layer. Again. and it does not change its shape when I rotate the probe it maintains its shape and there is no significant degree of posterior wall enhancement as you can see that uh, though diaphragm is in its uh, coursing close to it but there is no posterior wall acoustic enhancement same is the case with these two focal lines. They are, they are hypochoic and why I say they are solid because there is no posterior wall acoustic enhancement. In this case also there is no posterior wall acoustic enhancement. There is no significant acoustic enhancement uh, in the larger lien and uh, there is no calcification seen within this lien. It is rather thick wall and full of echoes and with uh, streaks of uh, ecogenic material. Now these are streaks of ecogenic material. It, now, the a differential point of view, this can be an abscess, most probably a cold abscess. Uh, number two, it can be representative of lymphoma. Uh, and, uh, and or some blood dyscrasia. Now I am going to scan the patient on the uh, now let's see what is the status of the liver this is the gallbladder and you see the portal vein running at the right angle to its neck this is the gallbladder portal vein This is the kidney, the right kidney, with liver, right kidney, liver. So kidney is not kidney, 
both side kidneys are normal gallbladder is fine no uh, finding as regarding the gallbladder but <coughs> see the texture of the liver the texture of the liver is coarse and uh, increased ecogenicity is seen throughout its uh, parenchyma. Not only this, you will see a few uh, focalians or something. This is one focal in, this is the second one, the third one, the fourth one. In this view, the outer surface of the liver is smooth. Presently, this is a small focal in here. This is now the ecogenicity of the para liver parenchyma is, uh, as, is raised diffusely uh, with coarseness. You can see the coarseness of the liver. This is the right hemidiaphragm. There is no pure in seen. Now let's concentrate on the liens, focal liens. Now this is a sub-centimeter focal lien. Most of them are sub-centimeter. This measures 12.7 millimeter. No posterior wall acoustic enhancement. Internal, in, a few internal echoes are there. Does not fit in the category of an abscess and uh, in the uh, chronic liver disease. Now I want to tell you here that I do not have any lab profile, any lab, uh, clinical notes and or any other investigative procedures with me. The patient uh, presented with pain in the epigastrium radiating to the back and uh, weight loss. These were the three uh, complaints of the patient. Now this is the another focal lien. Here you will see, these are another focal lien. Two more, and this is the third one. None of them is giving posterior wall acoustic enhancement. And these are all in the right lobe of the liver, in all segments. Well, this is the this is the IVC, this is the aorta. And uh, this is the middle hepatic vein, this one. Here we are. Now this is the one which is uh, uh, now this is a lymph node in fact this one this this is outside the liver and uh, this small propylene is within the liver this is outside the liver and this is consistent with a lymph node in this uh, in, and let's see that what is the status schedule of the left lobe of the liver now the tell now this is the left lobe of the liver in transfer section and this is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. Now we see another equogenic area, equogenic focal mass lien, almost having the same appearance consistency as that <coughs> of the uh, one we saw in the spleen. Um, it is a Mayer's approximately 3.3 into 3.6 centimeters with this being the portal vein, this is the common bile duct and this is small uh, tiny cystic area is the hepatic artery in transfer section. So this name node is at the region of the porta hepatis but it, uh, as we don't see any uh, dilation of the common bile duct or and or and or the uh, intrahepatic bile duct so uh, this is 
You see, no, no intrahepatic bile duct is here. It's seen solidly. This, this is the left portal vein, ascending part of the left portal vein, right branch, posterior branch. This is the coded lobe of the liver, the segment one. This is the IVC. So this uh, region does not relate to the coded lobe. This is a small focal region that uh, relates to the uh, lateral segment of the left lobe of the liver. So this is uh, lien number one, which is a lymph node at the region of the porta hepatis. And then when I come downwards, in the region of the epigastrium, here you can see that this is the pancreas, which is normal. This this is the pancreas, and uh, the pancreas is normal. The duct is not dilated. This is the duct, not dilated, and this is the focal region, which is most probably the lymph node, a large lymph node at the region of the porta hepatis whereby coming down we do not see any other uh, focal in in the paravertebral location there is uh, no evidence of uh, focal lesions or lymph nodes so let's study this lesion Now this does not change its shape when I give a sweep to the probe. Its appearance is very much uh, mild in posterior wall acoustic enhancement is present in this case if you study it with bit care, but uh, not that much. However, is there? And this can again be representative of an abscess or, or occasionating lymph node. It can be a granulomatous disorder with the, the possibility of uh, lymphoma that we cannot rule out without further investigative investigations. So, magnified view of the liver. No pleural diffusion is seen. Vessel margins are not that sharp. You can see there are blurred vessel margins. The focal lesions in the liver are hypochoic, rounded. See the uh, irregularity of the wall of the vessel, which is seen in uh, chronic liver disease, cirrhotic livers, because of fibrosis. This is the focal lesion, no posterior wall acoustic enhancement. Now, this can be a, lymph, uh, a metastatic lesion uh, or uh, a regener regenerating nodule in. Uh, a liver, a liver with one uh, that is uh, uh, cirrhotic, having cirrhotic appearance, <coughs> with, and this can also be a lymph uh, a metastatic uh, lesion. So, this is how we go on and rule out uh, different pathologies that we see one by one. You study the organ. And then you, with the help of the uh, lab profile later on, come to the conclusion that whether this is a benign disorder or an aggressive disorder. So with these findings, I will uh, contain myself to the uh, finding of either 
granulomatous disorder or uh, blood dyscrasia in which lymphoma uh, it cannot be ruled out. Thank you very much.